So you got to learn from defeat, yo. As Prince Rakim, you could say I fell. I was defeated. I ended up behind bars after that, bro. Fat man scoop. Man, the 36 chains was just, just, I'm going to tell you like this. The passion, you could feel certain things in people when they were on the mic on that album. I got 40 niggas in here now to kill niggas' fathers. Like, like, you know, the way old niggas, old niggas, old niggas, old kill them. Like, you, you could, I don't know if you could recreate that again, man. That, that was a mix of, that was a mix of experimentation. That was a mix of, we better make this happen. And that was a mix of, we gonna do what the fuck we wanna do, and we believe in this. I don't think yeah. I don't think thirty six could ever be made again, man. I just don't, man. But you know what, Scoop? And a spoonful of, I know what not to do. Hmm. You know what I mean? So, you gotta learn from defeat, yo. As Prince Rakim, you could say I fell. I was defeated. I ended up behind bars after that, bro. Your next go round, you said, listen, I'm gonna do what feels right in here. And that's where the Wu-Tang came from. Exactly. It's like you got to, and it's not easy, right? Because most things we do, we do for the money. We do with the money intention. Mm -hmm. But if you put the art intention in front of the money, right, there's no telling what value of art you're going to create. Picasso didn't know his painting was going to be going for 20 M. He just painted. Just you painted. know what I mean? You don't know that when everything around you is strictly... Like, it's music and it's business, so you're trying to do the business. But when we did the Wu album, it was the music. You know, people hear the Method Man song, and they don't realize that, yo, we recorded that thing in my, in my, in my, in my apartment on an eight track with, no, with electricity being jacked from somewhere else. I, I ain't paying my life. I have enough, I have enough money for the light bill. I <laughs> jacked it. You know what I mean? So, but he's the type of dude that can't. My crib after you ever whatever he was doing on that Friday night, man, he showed this whole pack. He showed up. He had some, you know what I mean. He had a, he had some he had already written down on some paper. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I had a beat. He said, "Yo, Rob, you hit it, you hit it, bomb." And we just homies. Nobody didn't pay him to come to the studio. Nobody didn't pay me to make the beat. It just we made art. And that when that was happening. That's when the value of it is unexplained. Because even to this day, 36 Chambers, that album, that first album, continues to inspire generation after generation. And it's because of the capturing of pureness and purity of people just doing their thing without, there was no money really exchanged to make that album. A lot of others tell you individually, ask Deck, how much I made? Deck was like, I'm probably a G. He made more knocking the pack off. Right. He made I smoke on the mic like smoking Joe Frazier. I mean, it changed not only his life, but so many other people with his life. Fat Man Scoop. Go to Fat Man Scoop on Instagram TV or YouTube to see the full interview.